people come to Jamaica to relax. Some people come to Jamaica to party. And then others, they come for the beautiful beaches. And then there are others. They come for the food. Hi, I'm Leisha, and on my channel, I'm all about sharing experiences that are meant to encourage us to enjoy life. And I actually believe that food is critical for enjoying life, especially while on vacation. And you're probably here wondering, what is the food like at Sandal South Coast? Am I really getting a five-star all-inclusive experience? Well, if you're wondering about that, then my friend, this video is for you. Let me pull out my map for you guys real quick. These are the restaurants we enjoyed at Sandal South Coast on our trip, and most of them are in the same general vicinity. Giuseppe's, Jasmine's, Café de Paris, Eleanor's, and Neptune's. Then we have Sushi on the Sand, The Jerk Shack, and finally Schooners. Bayside is right here. Bayside, now this is just the main buffet style restaurant. It is really good for a buffet, but buffet style dining is not my favorite. Eric loves buffets on the other hand. It's perfect for breakfast if you're dining quickly before your dive or an other excursion. And I enjoyed the fresh fruit the most, but they also have an omelet bar, bagels, juice and smoothie bar. And for lunch, there are even different offerings for each day of the week. I would easily rate the buffet with an A. Everything was great and very well cared for. Jasmine's. Jasmine's is an Asian restaurant and there's a nice selection on the menu. We ordered chicken spring rolls for our appetizer and I thought they were delicious for Asian food on an island in the middle of the Caribbean. I enjoyed the teriyaki salmon for dinner, although Eric said the steak was not his favorite meal that we had. Café de Paris. It's like a French pastry shop. Amazing coffee drinks, pastries, and crepes. We loved having this option at Sandal South Coast. How that is. I woke up early just to be able to go That's grab good. Americano from this place. Eric ordered the Nutella crepe and well, Ooh. you'll see what he thought about it. So pretty. So you're getting Nutella and banana and white chocolate and cream. Yeah. Maybe not the favorites. Okay. would be more. Mm -hmm. It looks good. It's very good. You can also catch Cafe de Paris after the shows let out in the evenings for a late coffee and dessert. Oh, so, <laughs> so what have we, we got here? We've got a red velvet, we've got strawberry cheesecake, a banana swirl roll, and is this a banana eclair? This is a vanilla eclair. Vanilla eclair. Everyone that worked there was so sweet. I think you'll enjoy this place too. All right, we have ended up at Neptune's for dinner and these are the options that we have. Um, lots of seafood uh, and also some different steak and chicken, even some lamb. 
I'm not really into that, but if you are, it's probably good. And some desserts. And the view is up the marina, and we've got a little bit of a lightning storm. <laughs> Neptune's was very, very good. We ate here on our first night arriving and thoroughly enjoyed it. The staff were extra attentive to us and the food was delicious. You should make sure you eat here. The crab cake and calamari appetizers were amazing and so were the entrees. And I've got some calamari and it's really, really good. I have some lime and a little tomato wedge. And the sauce is actually delicious. I took Eric's having a steak and she brought him some extra shrimp. <laughs> that was very thoughtful. <laughs> it didn't come with that. <laughs> and I'm having some tiger shrimp with the rice. Eric said the steak was quality and cooked just how he likes it. The Jerk Shack. Eating jerk is a must for any tourist in Jamaica, and it is good. Here's a little bit about the history of jerk, just in case you were wondering. In the 1700s, the Maroons developed jerk seasoning while fleeing from the British Army in the Blue Mountains as a means to preserve meat. It was spiced and wrapped in banana leaves until it was ready to be eaten and cooked over hot rocks or wood. Today, jerk isn't a simple barbecue. It is a smoking process using sweet wood and covered with metal sheets during the smoking process. It requires skill and patience. Jerk pits and restaurants in Jamaica survive on the reputation, and even the smallest operation can draw long lines of customers. Thankfully here at Sandals, we get the VIP treatment and there are no lines. Although I'm sure the best Jamaican jerk is found when you do travel into the local towns, of course. We are at the Schooner's restaurant for lunch and I have a veggie quesadilla. And Eric has a char-grilled burger and this is the signature chili dog that they have here for lunch. Schooners is the seafood restaurant by the Over the Water Bungalows and French Villages. We enjoyed our lunch here after diving one day and also ate dinner there. It is a nice setting at night since it is tucked away from the main plaza of the resort. Okay, so this is a lobster bisque. Here has one too. What do you think? I highly recommend trying the specials from each restaurant. Overall, food was good here. Not number one on my list, but you can't beat this setting. It was so romantic. So we have the steak and shrimp, lobster tail, and shrimp. And this is like their signature dish right here. The seafood is pretty good. We did order the lobster, which if you are a fan of lobster, you should be aware that the lobster served is a Caribbean lobster, which has a different taste than say a lobster from Maine. All right, everyone, so this is Eleanor's and it is a really nice restaurant. This is one of the uh, restaurants that you do dress up when you come to, except for breakfast. Um, but we get breakfast here at, or at Bayside. That's where we were yesterday. So we decided to come here, test it out. We have our coffee. This is the best coffee. See the steam. Eric, you have, still have two coffees. We decided to have a very nice breakfast there one morning and the staff were so wonderful. The restaurant serves the national Jamaican dish saltfish and ackee. It looks like scrambled eggs, but it's actually a fruit. However, the taste is more savory. You're in Jamaica, so you've got to try it. To continue my branching out from the usual, at night we ordered the ceviche appetizer. See that? You see that squid? And although it contains calamari, <laughs> I give it that five star rating along with the entree. It was a little weird seeing the octopus at first, but it was delicious. It's really good. I've never had calamari inside of a ceviche before. It's good. Eleanor's was amazing both as an experience and for taste. We even went back there the next night with a couple of friends to enjoy our last evening together. The quality of the food here for an all-inclusive is actually pretty amazing. They do advertise it as five-star dining, so I guess it's definitely holding up to that claim. Main course, I ordered the snapper escoviche. It's like a signature dish and it's a popular dish in Jamaica. And Eric's got his filet mignon. With some shrimp. With some shrimp on the side. Yes, forgot to mention the shrimp. So I've never had this before and we're gonna see how it goes. So this was really good. I just got two full. 
um, but can confirm, delicious. It was not quite what I was expecting, but Snapper's delicious. And then Eric, how was yours? It's gone. Uh, it was really good. Yeah. It was actually, it's gone. It was actually more over the filet, and it was actually more than our filet. <laughs> When we were on vacation, Eleanor's does require reservations and is a more formal dress code. It was exquisite, I must say. Sushi on the sand. We like sushi at home and were very pleasantly surprised after the first night we had at Sushi on the Sand. We loved it so much. We ate there every night after our main dinner except for just one. Tell us what we're doing right now. So we just ate one meal. Over at uh, Neptune's, we had a steak and shrimp. Neptune's, yeah. Neptune's. And now we left there and we came to get some sushi out there. And that's the beauty of Sandy. The service here was excellent and we tried almost everything on the menu. I have not had sushi this good since coming back home to the States. Definitely raised the bar for a five star dining experience back home for us. Lastly, I'm going to say a general word about service. We had no issues with getting food on time or incorrectly except for maybe once. Schooners was a little slow the night we went, but we were apologized to and I call that a win. And, you know, we do not generally travel during busy resort season so that we don't have to deal much with things like that. So if you are there during busy season, I hope they are staying on top of the level of service that they should be. Finally, we thought that we did in fact receive a five-star dining experience at an all-inclusive. The food was the best out of the three Sandals resorts we have been to so far. The other two we've been to are Sandals St. Lucia and Sandals Ochi in Jamaica. We would be paying at least $100 per couple back home for this level of cuisine, so we were not at all disappointed with our decision to enjoy our vacation at Sandals. And in fact, the food is what my husband looks forward to the most, so you better believe it needs to be worth it. It is Q&A time. I had a few questions about Sandals South Coast that I thought would be super great to answer for you on video. Several of you might be wondering the same thing, so I hope that these awesome questions will help out many, many more of you guys on your vacations to Sandals South Coast. I still wish I was there. <laughs> I miss it so much. So let's go with the first question. Our first question comes from Alexandra, and she asked about the snorkel trips. Do they need to be scheduled ahead of time or reserved before you get to the resort or can they be reserved while you are there? And the answer to that is absolutely, Alexandra, you can actually schedule the snorkel outings while you are at Sandal South Coast. You don't have to reserve them beforehand. I actually recommend just getting there and seeing making sure you know what the weather is gonna be like for the rest of the week for one thing. Um, but then you might also want to schedule them the first day that you get there. Um, if you know you want to go on a snorkel trip your third day or your fourth or fifth day there, go ahead and just let them know at the, um, at the desk what your preference is. So that way you can get on before the boats fill up. We weren't there in busy season, so if you're going to be there in busy season though, you will want to schedule those the first day you get there. And typically when we go to Sandals, we will get there the first day. We have a general idea of what we want to do, and so we'll make our reservations for the activities that require those um, that first day and the restaurants and everything the first day also so that we have the best, um, the best options. Question number two. This one is about the Hobie Cats. We really enjoy sailing on those. They're so much fun. Our only problem was that we did not have a lot of wind. When we were there, we were able to just walk right up to the crew there at the water activities um, and just get ready to go and take one out. We had already done our little like test before when we were at Sandals in St. Lucia. So if you have not been out on a Hobie Cat before, they might ask you to do a quick little sailing test. You'll just kind of like go out to a point and then come back into shore. They'll tell you whether you pass or fail. <laughs> our first one, fun fact, we actually failed when we were on our honeymoon, um, it, but we learned what we did wrong and we corrected it. And so, yeah, so usually um, if you're there in the slower season, you don't have to worry about 
the availability as much. But if you're there during busy season, I would recommend going earlier in the day, maybe on your way to breakfast or something, stopping by. I think they open, um, they might be open around like 10 a.m. I think um, there. I'm not sure about busy season, but um, you can stop by and, and put your name down if you are planning to um, come back and grab one or find out when the next available um, Hobie Cat is. Great questions. I hope that you guys have such a fun time on your trip to South Coast, Alexandra. And thank you so much for your questions in the comments. Thank you for watching. I absolutely enjoyed reliving my memories on our vacation through these videos. And it sounds like you guys are all getting ready to go out and make your own memories on vacation. So I wish you well, and we will see each other again very soon. Bye.